Turn the machine on down here, lower right. Light comes on. Little tidbit I read somewhere. You start your sewing before you lower the pressure foot. Leave the pressure foot up. Your threads are hanging out in the back there, out of the way. You make sure the hand wheel is in the operating position. Turn it forward and take the needle down into the cloth. Then lower the foot. The machines, I think this probably works the same way as the other ones. When you lower the pressure foot, that's when it closes the tensioner in here. So by leaving that pressure foot up before you put the needle in it, the tension's off the thread and lets the thread go real smooth down into the material and lower your pressure foot. This is a reverse switch. It's recommended in the book, so I do it. Uh, may work without, well I've, I've done it occasionally without doing it. But what it does is it helps make sure the start of the thread is locked in good. So you push it down and so a few stitches backwards with it. You can also go a few stitches forward, then go back, then come back on it if you want to. Come the other way. I'm set right now on the medium length number two thread here. I'm just going to make a pass across this. And use the lines here on this plate to kind of help you keep going straight. You can also kind of eyeball the distance from the, this edge to this edge of the foot. I'm not pulling or holding back, I'm just letting it feed through. Same thing with the lock thread when you get to the end. You can turn it so you're by hand and it'll feed it right to the very edge of the cloth. And do a few stitches in reverse. Now I'm going to turn it forward. You normally want, when, when you get done, you'll want your needle up and this thread, uh, I forget what it's called technically. Your needle will be up and this will come to the up position here too. And that's a good stopping point. Raise your pressure foot, which also loosens the tension. You come out and you either use this little cutter that I showed you earlier, little V thing back here. Or go ahead and pull a couple inches off so you have something to work with when you start your next next one. Cut it with your scissors, like say this B thing here, that's that's pretty handy. You don't have to stop and pick up your scissors when you're using uh, if you use that on it. There's a beautiful thread. Works real well. Uh, I think that's the main things to tell you about the sewing. Uh, say the machine works really well. I don't know if Grandma was bucking for a new sewing machine or uh, what, or maybe she just had problems uh, threading this particular needle. There's uh, three sizes of needles in here. It gives a little uh, detail for lightweight, medium, heavyweight, and very heavy. It gives the gives a number and a size on it and uh, you can visually see there are different sizes in here and uh, some of them you can see the hole a whole lot better in them too. Um, probably adjust some for uh, thread size but I've never fooled too much of that. I usually go by however heavy of a material I'm sewing, which over the past few years has usually been rugs and stuff, so I use heavy duty needles. And I've been using this thread, like I say, this is a serger thread. Uh, get this spool for $2 and uh, it uh, will last a pretty good long time, and uh, a spool, I, 
small spools to use is probably going to cost you a, a dollar or two and there's no comparison on how much thread you got. This comes in pretty much the basic colors. Red, green, blue, black, white, uh, probably some other colors depending on where you get it. It's coats. Seems to work pretty good. It's pretty strong thread. So now you know how to wind the bobbins and uh, thread the machine. If you do change the needle, there's a little thumb screw down here. You loosen that, the needle comes down. There's a flat on the top part of the needle and you'll line that back up. Watch when you take it out which direct. I, I think it'll only go in one way, but uh, anyway, uh, Watch when you take it out, put it back in the same, and also you can tell because as I told you before, there's a groove on one side of the needle. You can put your fingernail in, you can feel the groove there. And that groove comes towards the front of the machine. And I hope you remember which way it goes in. And uh, hopefully that should get you started. Bye.